Hey guys, Brother here, welcome back to our USA farming series. Uh, here we are for part number four. Uh, just down the bottom end of this map, joining these fields. Um, you might see top right hand corner, we have $501,000. So, what I have done is I um, edited the save game file, which um, gave us a loan of $1 million, which is going to allow us to buy field number two and have a little bit of oh, money left over to do whatever else it is that we need to do. So while some of you may think that's cheating and may not like it, um, all we've done is increased our loan. We haven't got any money for free, nothing like that. So it's just a straight um, bank loan, loan increase. So yeah, it means we can buy that field, which we just have. Then we've got to come down and um, lime the f parts that need to be limed. We can um, also fertilize the parts that need to be fertilized, seed the field with um, our corn. Let's see if we can get this little bit here and um, go from there. So, what I'm planning on doing is um, this episode just getting these fields joined together hiring a worker to get this done and then I'm hoping we can um, seed uh, field one which is one we own already, yep field one so we can seed that field with um, soybean and then hopefully once that's seeded this might be, I doubt it, but it might be ready to come back through and seed this one as well it's going to be a little while yet before we need to, to harvest anything. But um, that's our aim. Get all this put together, seeded, fertilised, limed, all that, ready for our next harvest. Um, so we can't take any, any more of a loan, which is fine. Uh, you want to go through to... Uh, yes, 700. So we're going to buy another one of those and get a corn header. We actually need two corn headers. We're going to need one for that other harvester up there as well. We're also probably going to need a um, another like a um, wheat har wheat header or a soybean header as well, so we can double team both fields with our harvesters. Still um, no update on the map as yet. Um, I've recorded a few episodes ahead um, just because I have a little bit of time during the holiday period to try and get ahead. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can while I can, pretty much. Right, so we'll get this done down to here and then um, I think we'll head north-south again. We'll start on that side and do this field, then do that field and do the little one. Um, so a quick look at the fields uh, plowed that's fully fertilized field five is not not sure about those other ones oh, I don't know we've got a lot of stuff to do but so we've just got to seed this field here then we'll pretty much be right to go so let's quickly while we can go uh, Aussie design number two engine uh, wide tires and we'll go purchase get out of that really quick before we end up overrunning the end of the field right, there we go lift that up turn off create fields Put it back down, and then we'll hire a worker to start heading north south. There we go, done. So that should come down to this guy. Um, I think that is right. A 790 number one Aussie. Yep, beautiful. 
have a look at um, corn headers. Uh, six meters, nine meters. That one's twelve meters, though. You can change it to the John Deere color, so that's all right. Uh, for ninety thousand, that's only nine meters. We definitely don't want nine meters. It's just not going to be enough. So if we go uh, John Deere. least two of those. We'll go back to our headers. Uh, which one did we go for? This guy, didn't we? Uh, we'll go lease. Beautiful. Oop. Can we keep that folded? So pick up this header. Um, I'm not going to run it back right now. Well, I'm just leaving the harvester down here ready to go. I might run it back off camera and then um, duck through all these fields and that sort of thing. I'll shut that down. Uh, here we go. Contract. Got our cedar on the back. 5,800 litres. Um, what is this guy here? You might have noticed, well, you would have seen me trying to get rid of um, all the solid fertiliser in there. Um, for some reason, we can't sell it. So it's all down there. It's got all the way down to the shop. Uh, went to sell it. Wouldn't let us. So I don't know if that's changed since the new update. Or if it's something to do with this field. I'm not quite sure. But, um, but yeah. We can't sell it anymore. A little bit frustrating. But um, just means we're going to have a heap of solid fertiliser that we're going to have sitting around for a very, very long time. Alright, we'll go through to this, make sure it's growing properly. As I said, we've still got a million dollars alone, we can't take out any more. So what I'm going to do is just do um, what we usually do and do a full run around the outside of the field. Um, and then hire someone to sort of fix up in between, possibly. Because we're going to have to... Um, yeah, we should be able to fertilize straight away everything's been limed and everything like that so it's all good this guy's still working down here slowly but he's working thinking I might even um, set a hired worker to go this way and then go back to this guy and get him to go east west again This guy sort of straighten him up. There we go. It's missing heaps there. Shouldn't be missing anything. Should not be missing a thing. I will say that this, um, because this is like a cultivator, um, it's been classed as a plough. It doesn't work quite as good as a plough. Um, because it's a cultivator and it's pretty much being reversed as if it's a plough, so it, they don't always get the fields quite right, unfortunately. Right, zoom out. Keep it going. Soybeans. It shouldn't take um, too long. We might get this seeded and that ploughed by the end of this episode. I don't know. If we're lucky, we will. I'll try and turn. Up this field. Didn't work too bad. F, what is he blocked by? Uh, sorry. Hold on a second, mate. Give me time. Give me time. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, 
There you go. Good, good. Didn't even think of that. I think he's um yeah, he's got through there, okay. Now I know those fields there, we probably could have let them grow and harvested that, but I'm, I'm not worrying about that too much. I'll actually turn left this time. Finish this off and we'll turn around. Head back up. It allows you to turn so much sharper though, this um this tractor with this cedar. So I don't know. No, I wasn't sure if I had like a beacon on there somewhere, but can't see one. So I don't think it does. I don't know if we're gonna need full run around the outside down here, but. Might as well. I'm going to try and square this off. It wasn't very good. We'll come back and touch that up. I knew I'd miss a little bit there, but I didn't think I was going to miss quite that much. Okay, we'll go and touch this other bit up. Come back and head north again. Alright, there we go. So hopefully that doesn't affect it too much. Have a little bit of curve in there. Might have to come back and touch up little bits here and there, as we usually always have to anyway. I uh, can always go east-west, but I don't think that's really going to help us that much. Right, hit H, hide worker, let them do their thing. Go right to the end. Did beautiful. This guy's working well. You can see that he's going to and from there, so that's working all right. Um, let's have a look. Soil composition. So field four, and these other spots need to be. Where are we? Need to be limed. So we'll um grab the lime spreader. While I can see what I'm doing, it might be a little bit easier. Right, so head up and out this way. Um, so yeah, field four in the joints. There's plenty of weight in this thing. Maybe why he's struggling a little bit. It's definitely a beautiful map. Definitely enjoying playing this map. Still waiting for the update, which um, hopefully is not going to ruin our game, as I've said in the past. But if it does, we'll have to... Um, Just work out how much money we've spent in total and um, we'll get back exactly what we've got now um, and have the same amount of money left over, which is which is easily done. 
it's more just a, a pain having to do it really. So field four's got to be done, and the join and the join down the bottom there. Let's bring all these back up. Keep an eye on how these guys are going. Don't know if we'll get all this done. Um, in the one trailer load. Hopefully we can, but I doubt it. Try and... Ugh, I knew I was going to bugger that up. Always do. Going to do just a run down the straight down here, so when we do um, east to west again, sort of got the headland around the outside. We getting all of that? Oh, I can't see. Still can't see because the weeds are there. I don't think we're getting all of it. Back to the start. Do another run down the down this way. Which is obviously the part of the part of the lands that we've joined together, the two fields. So yeah, we missed a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. Little bits like that. Don't care. So we're definitely gonna need to um, go back and fill this guy up. Might even head down and just do that join there. That way we're going to be closer to the farm when we need to come back and fill this guy up. Still making sure we're on the right track. Probably overlapping a fair way to the left here, but it doesn't matter too much. Beautiful. Let's come and do a couple of quick squirts like this. A couple of little spots here, but that's alright. So we need to do between 6 and 5. So we bring up this map here, we'll sort of be able to work out if we're on the right track. Although we should be. Got this spot here anyway, so we need to go a bit more to the left. Yeah, that's all good. Getting it. Getting plenty. Alright, so those guys are still doing their thing. It's planting pretty quick actually, that guy be able to get him started down here, you might have to go this way and get the other guy going that way as well. When he's ready to start planting that way, he's going all the way up and all the way back down. Might just do a couple of runs that way first, and then go north to south. Uh, make sure, yep, yeah, still on the right path. Boom, there we go. Head between fields three and four. Do that little bit there, and then we can continue on. Got up and down the field. Alright, so I know it's taken it's taken a little while, but it's, um, it's going to be worth it in the long run. It's going to be a huge harvest, probably the biggest, or well, definitely the biggest I've ever done. I 
I've never done a harvest this big on um, any farm simulator that was, you know, 15 or 17 or 19. So it's going to be pretty big. Um, you guys let me know if you think we should time lapse it or not, or just do it um, in stages. You know, you guys let me know. It'll be up to you guys. I know I, um, I said I didn't want to do any time lapse stuff, but if you guys really want it to be time lapse, then as I said, I'll make it happen for you. Otherwise, it might take us um, two or three episodes or, or whatever it might take for us to harvest the whole thing. How's that guy going? I might change to that guy after I do this. Get him to go north to south, as I said. That way we can um, we bring that cedar over. We won't be overlapping or anything. He should actually be able to seed the whole way. It's annoying though because they're not joined, but it'll be right. Oh, there we go. Get him doing his thing. I just have to keep an eye on him, get him to do a few rows to sort of match up with the other guy, and then get it to go all the way up. It shouldn't take him too much longer. I mean, I don't know if we'll get the cedar even down here this episode, but at least we'll get it lined up. We're probably a good 20 minutes into the episode already, and he's you know, just about halfway done, so he might be close to bringing him down to here. So the money we're losing, I wonder if that takes out um, that hourly high fee once we hit an hour each time. Or if it does it at the end of the day, I thought it would have done it at the end of the day, but I might I might be wrong. In fact, I probably am wrong, because I usually am, so... It's another couple of runs, probably three runs, before we get to that point. And then have this a little bit shorter to go after that. Alright, let's go and grab some more lime. Already out, didn't take long. Um, get rid of all this stuff, we only want soybean, corn. I don't know why they're not disappearing. It's weird. Hmm. A little bit weird. Don't know why there's two of the same thing. So he really doesn't have got that much more to go. He's on the longer strikes now compared to the shorter ones that he was on before. Yeah, line him up so we're ready to go. Pretty much matched up with the other field already. These guys can't do anything. Yeah, he's, he's over halfway, so it shouldn't take too much longer. Lime isn't really that expensive, so it's alright, but um, if we have a look through here, it should tell us uh, where's lime. It's an extra 15%. So if we don't use lime, we'll be um, down 15% on the harvest that we really should have. Oh, 
Let's head back down and we'll continue on. Have to work out where we were. Can't even see there. Somewhere in field four. Just there. We're going to have to run past the end of the field a little bit too. Once we go down the other end because um, we've ploughed over where we need the spray. So we probably need to just get rid of that and make sure we get all the way down. You see how much trouble that they have with using that plough. Watch out these couple of little bits we've missed. Probably not going to matter too much, but I want to make sure we try and get everything. Definitely got to go a fair way past where he currently is. So once we get that line sort of sorted this time by, we'll um, be right for the rest of the field then. Alright, so we need to keep an eye on it. Just a little bit. Oh, one button. You mean to jump out? Can we beat him? Can we beat him? No, we won't. I think I missed. Can't, yeah, the little little patch there. Tiniest little bit. Right, how's our other worker going? Slowly getting there. I mean, eventually I'd probably like to have, you know, two seaters, two plows whatever we need to do so we can start on one side one start on the other and um, head up and down try and minimize our um our downtime or our non money making time I suppose don't think we can get um a wider lime spreader I think this is probably as wide as we can get but I possibly I think we can actually get um This guy, so this guy holds lime, so we can get him, and he can come through and keep these guys topped up. If we get two lime, lime guys going at once. Try and maximise our lime use. We should get this done without us having to fill up this spreader again. Just missed another little bit. Bloody hell. Oh well. So I might run into him again here. Or if we're lucky, it'll be a little bit quicker, but I doubt it. I think we're going to have to stop again. He's definitely more important than us, so we'll let him go. I'm sort of... I don't know why... Um, I 
Yeah, I don't know if we lime first and then when we like plough it into the ground if it actually fertilises it as well. I'd like to think it would. Um, I think so, I think that's what it's doing. Then again, no, it's probably not actually because we're we're um, ploughing in that last crop, so it's probably just using that last crop as fertilizer, not the actual lime itself. A couple more runs, so one up or one back up and one back down again, and that should be it. It's pretty bloody hot today here in um, good old Australia, good old down under. It's 40 odd degrees today, Celsius, so it's bloody stinking hot. Luckily I've got me little portable aircon next to us. Um, going through a uh, bit of a heat wave at the moment. I think a couple of weeks ago we were having, you know, 30, high 30s, um, temperature wise days, and then every afternoon around about 3 o'clock, without fail, we had a thunder, like huge thunderstorm. Um, yeah, that's it, right on 3 o'clock, huge thunderstorms every day for like 4 days, it was um, really strange, I mean I love thunderstorms so I can't complain at all, but it was um, really weird, and uh, my sister uh, decides to blame global warming for it, but I think it's just, it's just Australia, like every summer we go through the same thing, bloody hot days and then thunderstorms that sort of stuff it's just it's the way it is down here so you guys if you're still watching this far through the video you know leave in the comment section let me know where you guys are from Be cool to actually um find out where some of you guys are from some of you guys might even you know live pretty close to each other or even close to me maybe So I'm going to get this guy to go north-south again. That way when we get our, um, our cedar over here, we don't have to worry about it. So how's he going? He's so close to being finished. Actually, one run up, one run back down, and he'll be done. It's going to be awesome. So what I'll do is I'll jump into him, make sure he's got enough seed. I'll drive all the way to the bottom and do two rows at the bottom, east to west, and then go north to south from there. It's probably the best thing for us to do. Um, it's quite obvious that $500,000 we borrowed from the bank didn't go very far. It didn't last long. I knew it wouldn't. So we had to had to kind of um, cheat it into the game a little bit, but we just say that you know we went we went down to the bank and asked them direct said no this is what, this is our plans you know can you guys help us with a little bit of money and they asked us how much we wanted we said half a mil and they went sure so half a mil will probably turn into like. Maybe a million dollars we're going to pay them back anyway, unless we pay it out really quick, so... So we'll hook this guy up ready to go. Might be able to head down and even get a hired worker to start on um, spreading the fertiliser. He's on his way back. Last run. Absolutely. Last run. Didn't realise how slopey this field actually was. It slopes all the way down to this corner. Which is probably a good thing, like real life, because at least you know when it rains the, the water's going to run off down the hill that way. 
Oh, there we go. Hit hide worker. Can do his thing there. Oop. Beautiful. This guy's just about done. 3,000 litres. I think we're going to have to top it back up. Um, I don't think 3,000 litres will do it for down here. We're definitely going to be short. Fold it up, we'll um, open the back. We might repair it while we're here too, if we've got enough money. Just ensure that we're um, going to be running at 100% once we get down the bottom there. We might need to clear those trees out, just to allow us to get into these seed a lot better. I do really like these tractors though. I don't like how they turn in the middle there, but um, I do like them, like looks wise and power wise, they're bloody awesome. So we've nearly got two hours on this bad boy already. Fair, $901, not cheap. Obviously, the more expensive the gear you got, the more it's going to cost for us to repair it. Uh, 222, it's not too bad. But I think this thing's about to hit two hours, so we're going to get smashed with them trying to take some money off us. There we go, make sure we've got corn selected. The H has completed their task. Uh, okay. Don't know how. But righto. I don't know how. Probably need to go across here, but it's alright, we'll work it out. We can do that while um, these guys are seeding, ploughing, that sort of thing. We're um, not too far off ending the episode anyway, but we've got a lot done this episode, I feel. See that tractor there working in the background. Smashing it, smashing away those fields. Still got a little bit more to go before they match up again. So as far as the fertiliser goes, we're going to have to come along and Get in between each field. I don't know why it didn't turn around and head back up though. It's kind of strange. I know there's two different spray levels, but it's still kind of weird. Let's unfold this guy and get ready to go. Try not to hit that tree. So we'll do a run north, or run east, and then back west, and then we'll go north-south from this corner. Might hit H for hide worker for a second. Get this guy moving again. Should definitely spray over... Yeah, there we go. Where we've um, joined those fields together. Oh, wrong way. So that, yeah, that's fully fertilised, so that's all good. So we'll do one run up, as I said, one run back. It's a crack can of Pepsi. Not alcohol, just Pepsi. Or Pepsi Max, actually. Pepsi Max is great. I love it. Zero calories. No sugar. Except for all the fake stuff. I don't know. Um, some people love it. Some people hate it. Each to their own, but I say. I'm going to 
to do is just move this over a little bit. No, not far enough. It's going to be hard to try and get around that part. There you go, that might work. There we go, beautiful. I wouldn't say beautiful, but it works. It's so hard to get this thing to go the right way. Sort of need to line up one of these rows the plows left behind and go for it. Be good if you could actually see like the field on the screen like you do here sort of thing so you sort of know that you're not missing anything. That'll be pretty cool. There goes all our money. Minus 8,000. Can't borrow any more to get us back in the green. A bit unfortunate, but I'm sure we're still still going good. Still not missing anything. Right to the end, where I think we just missed a bit. We did come back and fix that up. Beautiful. Head up this way and then we'll um, get ourselves set up to head north. Head north south. So we might have to change to this guy again and get him to move over a bit. This guy's spraying away nicely. Slow this guy down, try and get ourselves lined up. Pretty good, how's that? Not quite. We need to go a little bit to the right, I think. How's that? Should be. Smashing it. Beautiful. Right, so we'll go through and jump onto this side. And you can probably go um, east west after that, I'd say. This way, hit hide worker. Not you grab this guy. We'll go do this ourselves for a little while. Keep an eye on everything. So we get all the way to the end, and then just down to field six. Two point three hours on this machine. Let's have a look at our money, uh, land purchase. Eighty-three thousand for vehicle leasing cost today. We're definitely going to have to try and make some good money off this harvest and buy some new gear and get rid of all this lease stuff. Um, as far as tractors go, when we go to buy something, I said I like. I like the case stuff, but I don't like how um, it turns like that. So that's a maximum of 435 horsepower, which is not enough, I don't think. 
Everything else like articulates in the middle though, so I don't think we can use the big bud for these things either. That's what I wanted. I wanted to use this and just do all big bud gear, but we can't can't use it for what we want to do, really. It's um It's a bit of a pain that we can't use the big bud gear for everything. There's only certain things that connected to, like I want to connect to that um cultivator we had, but it wouldn't connect to other things, so yeah, a little bit annoying. But um radio guys. I'll um, end the episode here. I might just continue on a little bit and maybe just get this ploughing done <clears throat> and this fertilising and maybe come back when that seeding is nearly finished. And um, we'll go from there because I think nothing else up here. Well, that needs to be fertilised again, actually. Fertilised there as well. So if you guys enjoyed it, as always, smash the like button. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see a time-lapse harvest or not. Um, if you've got any other ideas for this map or maybe any future maps or future series, let me know. And if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It's been Bruto. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.